Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks again for joining me. I've, today I've got a Highland River scene for you. Went a bit mad with the sky. Tried to experiment, get as much colour in there as I possibly could. Um, so let me show you the colours I've used for this one. So I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson and light red. So I didn't use the burnt umber or the raw sienna. Um, the brushes, as always, large on rancid oak for most of it. Use a three quarter flat, use a quarter inch flat, um, and then a couple of little riggers as well. I've got a zero and a number three. Right then, now often I over wet the paper, so I'm, I'm going to try and not be quite as zealous with the, with the water. So I'm basically trying to get the spectacular sky. How spectacular! Turns out to be. I'll let you be the judge of that, I think. One of the problems I have I've had recently is just over mixing everything on the paper. So you just sort of melt, I suppose what a lot of people would call mud. So I want to try and preserve the, the colours as best I can. Um, so I'm just trying not so much water. And I'm just going to use the spray, the Mr. Spray, to try and loosen it up a bit, get it blended. This process, trying to keep the colours separate. So I'm going through pretty much all the colours on the palette. This is a lizarding crimson with a bit of Payne's grey mixed into it, really darkens it. And to get back to the light, I need to clean the brush. Back in there. Ultramarine around there. And coming down towards the horizon. clean again. Let's just brush that in from either side. Now you see I've got all these sharp edges so what I'm going to do is a little bit of spray of the water. Let's clean the brush. Some of this colour reflecting in the water, I keep forgetting to reflect it down there. Then clean the brush, and I want to go back to lighter colours. So I'm back into this yellow. is just a hint. I'm looking for like a distant mountain. Just using a clean brush just to mix 
a little bit together and take away a little bit of the colour by the top of the mountain just to suggest, just to make the profile stand out a little bit better. So, I want that to be a bit darker. I'm going to go to Lizarin Crimson, Ultramarine. section around the edge. Front of that. Can I get a little bit more intense yellow in the middle? Maybe. Yeah, it's got a little bit dirty, that hasn't it? paper stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull it tight and refix it back to the lighters lighter colours so clean the brush just taking off the bottom of these just getting that sharp edge Tissue in there. Right, I'm just going to dry that before I go any further. Just make sure it's flat. Give that a quick dry.
right at the bottom of it and then it's going with a start off with a bit of that I'm going to get back to a lighter, lighter blue. I was thinking if I just Now it's dried, it'll go on a lot stronger. So, if I sort of start off, it's not like that. Sometimes I'll switch to the, this flat brush just to try and get some sharper edges because the brush is pretty well worn now, my oak brush. So if I want a really sharp edge, I'll just switch to this three quarter flat. Just something like that. And that then just gives me this. Sometimes I like to just have a bit of a faff with this brush as well. Just a little flat brush, even smaller. I'm just going straight in with a bit of... Um, bit of ultramarine. I'm just sort of leaning back now as I'm as I'm doing it, just trying to get some really strong 
sounds in there. And really, you, you want you're looking for them to be visible right from the back of the room. That's why I'll, I'll just pause the video in a sec, so I can go and have a look. I'll just use a bit of clear water around there. what I want is I just want a bit of that, bit of that yellow in the, uh, in the water. somewhere on the hills as well. In fact, I'll just, so it was meant to be sort of reflecting off the uh, grass, but I can't resist. Maybe just pop in a little bit. scraping a little bit of rock just gives it a bit of a bit of form so easy to overdo it Got more of a crimson look to it. I'm still not happy with it, so I'm just going to mess about with it a bit, a little bit more. Give it a little bit of a wet, and just a week. Bang a bit of crimson on there. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call that one done I think. Um, I'm just gonna take a little rigger brush and I'm just gonna pop a bird. Make sure we stick him. I'm gonna stick a bird in just up there and then get the other brush. So 
iron it over here and pull that one finished. So let's stick a mount on that and just see what it looks like. So as I finished painting, so if we go and have a closer look at it, so the sky was pretty much one big massive experimentation. Um, I was trying to get a sort of crimson effect, which I only really got right at the very end when I put on that sort of crimson, lizard and crimson glaze in the sky, and then a little bit down below, just a little bit of reflection in the water. I mean, the water, all I've done is just relied on reflections from the sky and just created the river by darkening the land around it. So I've used pretty much, I think, I think all the colours except for a burnt umber, I think, went into the sky. And then coming down, you can see the, 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 the distant mountains that I put in. And they become even a bit more apparent when you can see the stronger land. I often just have a quick go with, the, with this um, little flat brush here, just to sort of tonal adjustments towards the end. Just put on the really, really dark, pillar of pines grain there. And then the advantage of that, not only does it help create that sense of depth between the layers, but you can scrape in a few rocks as well with the corner of the card. I was going to put some rocks on this side, but I just resisted the temptation. All I did was just a little bit of, suggest a bit of green grass there. And then just kept the, the river light, just so that sort of winds its way through right into the foreground. And then our little bird up there. Just loving the view. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks always for your support. Do join me over at patreon.com and um, where there'll be there's about another 200 videos over there that aren't on YouTube exclusive to patrons. You can also post your own paintings on the community page. So until next time, if you've got any questions, please ask. Keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.